Okay, a little bit further along. Um, I've sort of whitewashed or blackwashed this timber. I'm not sure that I... I was just trying to get it to match the other side. It's all starting to get a bit dark. I might have to do something to try and brighten it up. Um, or even put carpet on it. When the floor goes down, we're having like a marbly type vinyl floor, so that'll brighten the floor up a bit. But I think that's going to be carpeted uh, up there, that drawer. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. If anything happens here in the way of colour, then I think I'll probably go for a stain, a lighter stain and not so dark. I'm just going to uh, do these drawers. Just going to get this covered in carpet and then uh, get it up into place. Right up. So it's just contact adhesive. You put adhesive on the wood and back of the carpet, stick it on, cut it, make it fit. Just tie these things up a bit. So we'll just stick that on now and already there it is, sit on top of the fridge. I'll cover this with carpet around there and on the top. Um, I might even do this as well, I'm not sure yet. So I'll just finish covering that top piece and up there and it'll come down through there. Yeah, I'm just thinking on whether I should do this as well. It's probably going to look a bit nicer if I do. It's all carpeted. I'm going to leave the end piece as is for now. Uh, I might carpet it later on. But uh, at the moment I'm going to leave it as is. Um, this is still all working. Yeah. One handed is always harder, but now it will be probably the floor and sort out this back piece. So I've got the carpet on that bit, I'm going to remount the uh, inverter back there. I've got a few extra of these tiles, and I might even think about doing the sides of the dunny area. Might brighten it up just a little bit, be a little bit more hygienic as well. Any little spillages, you know what I mean, boys? Okay, there it is, floor's all done. Done all in around there. Done the side of the dunny as well. So, I haven't bothered doing inside the cupboard or anything. I'll put a bit of carpet in there maybe, if I have to, but... Uh, um, there's two USBs there, which is wired through. I've not connected it up yet inside the cupboard into the fuse thing. Um, this one here, so if anything happens to it, um, I can just replace this one. There's also like an RCD trip on it as well. It's a bit of added security. And yeah, so anything I put in here to charge should stay in there. And if I need to, I can always put Velcro on stuff so it doesn't move around. So we'll see how that goes and I'll change it as necessary. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. And then uh, I'll turn that up like that. It's going to bounce back off the, off the ceiling and hopefully circulate around in there. Anyway, we'll see. I've left some slack there so I can move it if I need to. It's a good fridge, um, but the door lock is crap. If something falls down, opens up, you're going to be losing all the heat. And the only reason for that is they put such a bloody great big hole. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to take this off. Weld that up, drill a new hole. I don't mind it moving a little bit, but as soon as that seal breaks, that's it, you're done. Uh, I'm just doing this uh, door lock for the fridge. And what I've managed to do is put a washer 
inside the hole um, which I'll tack weld in and then I've just got to file a little bit out uh, off the back edge so that'll go on and I think that'll do the trick okay I'll fiddle with that I've got that working perfectly now waiting on um, some proper little um, like latches to hold this back uh, I'll probably put some little clips or something on them although I've got some other stuff coming. I don't know, I'll see what happens with that, but uh, just having a test fit. I've done one shelf so far, so just making sure I'm happy. Um, yeah, so we'll just have tin food, heavier stuff down here. These will probably stay empty most of the time, um, unless we're away for a week or something, and uh, I'm sure the wife will fill them up with something. So I am going to put another shelf there, and then we can go some light storage up there, little boxes of chips and different things like that. Uh, be the same in there, but yeah, so far. This is what I've come up with. Um, this will be a movable thing once I'm finished with it. Uh, I'm probably going to carpet these shelves um, just to try and protect things, keep some noise down. We'll see, but um, they're just a couple of dividers which I can move around put them wherever I want. The way that the travel oven bolts in, I need to be able to remove this panel so if I ever need to take it out. So if I start putting shelves and everything in here, it's gonna get a little bit awkward, I think. So I'll probably just fix it in like that. I'm not doing any more for the moment. I'm not putting any carpet in, not doing anything. Uh, I'm off camping for a night, a um, couple of days time. So I've just thrown some stuff in, I'll let the missus do a little bit of a rearrange and then um, yeah, we'll see how it goes for the night and see if we need to change anything. Um, the oven's here, I've left a bit of room around that, little gas one, we'll probably put something up there, some trays or pots, I don't know, and then that we'll just use for some sort of storage there. It'll basically all find its own home at some point, so yeah, but that'll do. You can't wait to get out and just give it a go for the night and see how it all works.